The next commercial crew test mission to the space station, outlining the agency's objectives for deep space exploration and covering the total lunar eclipse on Earth and from space. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On May 19th, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft launched from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida on Orbital Flight Test 2, or OFT-2. The mission is the Starliner's second uncrewed flight to the station for our commercial crew program. On May 17th, NASA released a draft set of high-level objectives identifying 50 points that fall under four overarching categories of exploration for future Artemis missions to return astronauts to the Moon in preparation for human exploration of Mars. The agency is asking U.S. industry, academia, international communities, and other stakeholders to provide input on these deep space exploration objectives. Learn more at nasa.gov slash moon to Mars. The latest episode of our NASA Science Live was all about the total lunar eclipse on the evening of May 15th overnight into May 16th. It featured NASA experts and live views of the eclipse from around the world. Meanwhile, our Lucy spacecraft captured the imagery of the eclipse seen in this time lapse when the traveling spacecraft was about 64 million miles from Earth. It shows Earth on the left and the Moon on the right, which can be seen disappearing into darkness as it passes through Earth's shadow. The Lucy spacecraft is on its way to study Jupiter's Trojan asteroids. Dust on the solar panels of our inside Mars lander is causing the spacecraft to gradually lose power. As a result, the InSight team anticipates that the lander will become inoperative by the end of this year. InSight, which arrived at Mars in November 2018, has so far detected more than 1,300 Mars quakes and collected information to help improve our understanding of the interiors of rocky planets, including Earth. NASA's Cold Atom Lab, the first ever quantum physics facility aboard the International Space Station, has been used to shape atoms of gas cooled to nearly absolute zero, or about minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit, into extremely thin hollow spheres. This is similar to how liquids behave in microgravity and can't be duplicated on Earth. The accomplishment could lead to new kinds of experiments with a state of matter distinctly different from gases, liquids, solids, and plasmas called a Bose-Einstein condensate, or BEC. In a BEC, scientists can observe the quantum properties of atoms at a scale visible to the naked eye. Our research mission to enable supersonic air travel over land has been renamed QUEST. The name, which includes an extra S to represent supersonic, replaces the mission's original name, the Low Boom Flight Demonstration. Through Quest, NASA plans to demonstrate that the X-59 research aircraft can fly faster than sound without generating the loud sonic booms supersonic aircraft typically produce. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.